Hello everybody, good day to you. Just decided to wear my cowboy hat today. Uh, don't get a chance to wear it very often these days, particularly because it's winter and it's cold outside. These days if I wear a hat it's usually a, a winter cap, you know, the insulated woven ones that uh, help keep your, your head warm during the cold winter months. So actually I haven't worn this hat probably since summer, but I like it a lot and figured it'd be good to wear, add a little bit of character to this video, make it a little more interesting since my last video and my first video starring myself was a little uh, on the lame side, I guess. And this hat kind of helps me to kind of bring up my character a little bit, you know, sort of give me, give me a little bit of twang to it and make it more interesting. Anyway, getting into it. Um, this video, as you could see from the title, will be a discussion on the imprecise language or intention behind a short phrase in the preamble to the, U to the United States Constitution. That specifically is the phrase, in order to form a more perfect union. Now, if you're not familiar with it because you're not from the United States or uh, you haven't studied the Constitution or what have you, I'll just read you the first couple of sentences. Actually, it looks like the... Uh, I'll go ahead and read you the full preamble. It's just a few sentences so you understand what I'm talking about. We the people of the United States, in order to perform a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America. Um, Yeah, that was actually just one sentence, wasn't it? Wow, that was longer than I thought. But anyway, again, shifting focus back to the particular phrase from that preamble, in order to form a more perfect union, I just find it a little silly to say a more perfect union. When you break it down, can something really be more perfect? Isn't that kind of the definition of perfect? Is that it's the precipice, the most best that anything can possibly be? It's very ser silly to me to say a more perfect anything if perfect is to be believed to be the best how could you make something that is already the best even better to add more to it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me um, now you may say that's taken the meaning behind that phrase a little too far they didn't really mean perfect they meant really good they meant I don't know, just not perfect, you know, because obviously perfect cannot be made even more perfect. Well, even if that's so, let's take the word perfect in this instance to mean really good, almost perfect. If that's the case, then we extend the statement to a more perfect union. Now, of course, union in this instance is referring to the union of the United States of America. Now, the United States of America, just as any other country in the entire world, is not perfect has never been, never will be perfect. When it comes right down to it, perfect is unattainable. 
really, perfection is subjective. There is no one definition of perfect. What one person or group of people believes to be perfect can be entirely different from another person or group's definition of perfect. And so, to presume that our union, the United States of America, is already perfect, is, is fallacy. Now, my intention in saying this is not to put down the United States of America, because I live in the United States of America, and for the most part, I, I really like, and even might say love, the United States of America. But, let's face facts. It's not perfect. And to say, in the Constitution of the United States of America, that its whole purpose, the Constitution, is to form a more perfect union, is either imprecise language or misguided in my opinion I know that the language was chosen to be a strong language to have an impact on people basically if you want to go so far as to say being like propaganda or some people would argue it is propaganda. And so, to say, or to choose a phrase such as a more perfect union, has a strong implication to it. And that's well and good. But whether the forefathers realized it or not, using the phrase a more perfect union has a in my opinion again has a subconscious effect on the citizens the people of the United States of America in that it instills through these very words a heightened sense of importance a heightened sense of pride in the country, in the nation, in the people of the nation. I would, I might even go so far as to say the intended or unintended effect of that phrase is that much of the United States of America, the people in it, have developed a cockiness, a overly confident attitude about the United States of America and the people in it, especially themselves. Now the United States is a great country, there are a lot of great things about it, a lot of great people, but it is not perfect and to have the pride and belief that it is perfect or near perfect in my opinion is not the best way to go about thinking about the country because having that sense of pride that heightened sense of importance confidence especially today keeps us from moving forward to improving our country, making it a better place to live, not just for a select few, the richest, the most powerful, but for everyone. After all, in the Constitution, it also states that we are all equal. Excuse me. That all men are created equal. And we could go into that conversation again about you know the imprecise language all men 
you know, it doesn't necessarily include women in there, if you will. But you get the intention behind it, or at least we hope the intention behind it was to say all people are created equal, not all men, despite the language. And so you could get into the semantical argument about the imprecise language, the imprecise phrase of a more perfect union. But that's my opinion of it is, and my whole point about it is that you need to be careful in choosing your words uh, and communicating with other f people, especially in documents that will be so w widely read and interpreted by people or videos like this one now I realize I myself are not I'm not perfect and I will never be but I strive to improve all the time I strive to, to be a more kind more courteous more empathetic person to understand the world around me, the people, the things, and to express myself clearly and hopefully without an excess amount of bias, because there will always be some bias in your opinion, but hopefully not an excess of bias, and without offending people excessively can't refrain from it offending people at all because somebody will be offended in some way possibly by what I have to say and if you're offended I apologize it's not my intention I'm not here to be a mean guy to make you angry to incite hateful or otherwise negative feelings toward me or others but my point is be careful what you say because you don't know what impact it will have on people around you or people around the world, people living now or people living in the future. You don't know. So that being said, I guess my video is running a little long here. It's been almost about 12 and a half minutes now. So I think it's about time for me to wrap it up. So definitely a lot shorter than my first video, just about half an hour. Drinking my mate again today. Just had an, about an hour circle with uh, one of my fellow mate drinkers, member of the circle of drink, in the regular plug there. If you want to learn more about mate, go check out circleofdrink.com. It's a great drink. If you're interested in health and energy and improving your life, it's a good way to go about it, in my opinion. Obviously, because I drink it almost every day. Didn't have any yesterday. I don't consider myself an addict. Um, you know, there's coffee addicts and what have you, but that's another that's another discussion. But uh, just so you know, I'm drinking some Canarias today, one of the most popular brands in the world. It's a very good brand. Um, and I'll be finishing up my mate here pretty soon and as well as this video so hope everybody has a good day lots of love to you check you later